Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get an organic stroke or a rough texture on the edges of your shapes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you left click here, if you're following along, I'm just going to create a generic rectangle. It is ruby red. I'm just going to go over here, click on the fill, you'll see it is bright red. And here's the thing, you can look at it and it looks fine but it looks machine made. It doesn't look like it was. There's no blemishes, no scratches, no nothing. It just looks like a standard vector graphic. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust it so that the edges get a nice fine look. The way to do that, a lot of people will go to the stroke, for example, and then they'll click on that and then they'll maybe make a, a red stroke at the edge, but it doesn't do anything. Here's what you need to do. You need to click on stroke just like this, but instead of going to add it just straight up adding or decreasing the stroke here, you got to go to brushes. Left click on brushes, and then over, you want to click here on the little hamburger menu, and you're going to see something called Open Brush Library. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the artistic brushes. So again, left click on the hamburger menu, then we're going to go down to Open Brush Library. We're going to artistic and then you're going to want to open up the chalk or charcoal pencil ones. There's a few different kinds you can use, but these are the ones that I like. When you do that, you're going to see this here little box open up and it's going to say artistic chalk charcoal. Now, when we have the stroke here, I'm going to left click on the stroke. I'm going to increase the stroke to about five points and you don't see anything yet because it's all the same color and it's still a vector graphic. But watch this. When I left click on, let's say chalk, Scribble? No, let's do chalk. Let's do charcoal. That'll give you a nice look. I'm going to left click off of it. You don't see too much, but if you look closely, there's a little bit of some organic action here on the edges. You see how there's a little bit of light color coming through, and then it's just not a perfect edge. Now, that automatically applies the stroke at one point, but if you do the stroke to two or three points, let's go to three points for example, you're going to see here that it has an organic kind of chalky feel around the edge like it was sort of painted on. Now, if you look really, really closely, you're going to see that the stroke is not quite the same color as the interior fill. I don't have a good answer as to why that is, but follow along with me. I'm going to left click on stroke here, and actually I'm just going to click on the color part of me, then I'm going to select the color going to double click on it and then you're going to notice that I can go ahead and make changes to the actual color. So I'm going to left click on this preview button and then when we dial it in you will notice that I can go ahead and make small minor adjustments to try and match the color. So let's say I don't know the color is a little more reddish purplish. Where does it meet? It's about right there I'd say. That is how you go ahead and make an organic texture, an organic border to your shapes. Uh, I've got a ton more stuff with tutorials coming up, guys. Thanks for watching. I will be back soon.